Hi everyone, this is Jason with UCI's Campus Recreation and I'm here to show you how to fold a lovely mushroom origami from a simple piece of paper. Uh, this is the, what the finished product will look like. Um, I added some color to make it look nifty. Um, supplies you're going to need are a blank piece of paper. Uh, 8 by 11 is fine. We're going to need to make this square and I'll show you how to do that with this piece of paper. If you have a square piece of paper at home, great. You can do colored paper, anything you like. Um, and then you're also gonna need a scissors to make this square. Uh, if For some of you, you may need someone older or an adult to help you with the scissors. So keep that in mind and ask them for their help. And I'm gonna start showing you how to fold uh, this piece of paper into a mushroom. And if at any point you get confused or need to slow down this video or go back, I encourage you to do that as many times as you need. So first step, we're going to turn this piece of paper into a square. We're gonna take this corner and we're gonna fold it over to here so that this edge lines up with this edge. And we wanna do it so that this corner right here is nice and not too far over, not too far back. So let's see if I can do that right here. Perfect. Once you get it set, then you can give it a good push on the crease. Nice and hard. It doesn't have to be perfect, but close is good enough. And now that that is done, now I'm going to cut along this edge and take this off. You could also draw a line and cut if you like, or you may need the help of someone else in your home to help you. So let's get this piece done. I'm just gonna cut right along that folded edge to make a square piece of paper. Perfect. Now this is scrap, so we're going to set it off to the side. We'll throw that away later. And you have already done your first fold, nice job. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open it back up and we're going to fold this corner to this corner so that we have a crisscross, a seam on our piece of paper. So let's get that lined up corner to corner and get the seam pressed and open it back up. So now you should have uh, an X of a seam or crease in the paper. And now what we're going to do is turn it like a diamond and the three points away from you, we're gonna fold them into the center. And I'll show you how to do that. So you take one, fold it towards the center. So at the peak, touching the center, and that means when we do this one, this edge right here should line up pretty close. Again, it won't be perfect. You can see that mine isn't perfect. There's a little bit of a gap and that's just okay. And we'll do the third one. And, oh, pinch it right there, get the seam. All right, that's pretty close as well. Perfect. So once, once you get to this point, what we're going to do is we have this seam now that goes across here. We're gonna fold it on that seam or crease. And so these corners are down to this corner. And I'll show you right now. You just get the paper inside there. Fold it on that crease. And since it's already creased, it should fold pretty easily on that. There it goes. All right, so make sure you press all those creases nice and tight. Wonderful. Now you see how this kind of opens up now, like in this direction. So we're gonna call this the front side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna go to the back side. So we're gonna turn it. So now we see one flat piece of paper. And the next step is we're going to fold this corner down to, um, it might be hard to see, uh, but there's a the edge of the paper behind this paper and the middle crease right there. We're gonna fold this corner to here. I'll show you now. It's already pre-creased, so it's gonna want to do that pretty easily. And we're gonna do the same thing with this corner right here. Okay. All right, 
as you fold the paper more, it might be harder to push down on the creases, and that's a-okay. And so at this point, we have to do another fold in, in this, on this side, and we're going to take this edge, and we're going to fold it so it lines up with the middle. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So we're going to fold it so that this edge is lined up right down the middle here. Just like that. So I got it there, so now I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to crease it. Get some stick up here. There's a lot of folds of paper up here, so it's harder to press. And we're going to do the same thing with this edge to the center. There you go. And again, you got to hold it, and you got to push on those creases. Awesome. Now, sometimes in origami, you go forwards to go back. So we're going to open it back up. what we had before and now this is a little tricky part we have a corner over here and it actually is two corners you can see how I can separate the paper a little bit right there and so we want this peak to stay out and we're gonna fold this one in and I'll demonstrate that we're gonna fold it in to the like it was the way it was folded before so again there was two corners I took that corner and I folded it in. I'll reverse it so you can see it one more time. So you might, you'll see this in front of you and you'll notice that if I bend the paper, if I grab here and grab here, there's two corners, uh, two peaks. I'm gonna take this peak and we're gonna fold it towards the center like you just did and we'll keep that peak out. Wonderful, Matt, you guessed it. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So there's two pieces two peaks here. We're going to take the one on the inside. We're going to fold it inward. And you've already creased it, so it wants to do that. And make sure you just flatten everything back out so it lays nice and flat. Nice job. And at this point, you have two folds left. We're going to take this peak now that's closest to us. We're going to fold it up to that line of paper. So right there, try to keep it kind of in the center line. And then this peak up here, uh, there's no way to measure it very well. So you're just gonna try to get it the same size as this one. So we're gonna take this top corner and fold it down about the same size as that one. So I'll show you how. My guess is it's gonna be right about, there, now this paper is Stick up top, so it might be harder to crease, and that's okay. Just gotta get some more oomph. And if you make it a little smaller, a little bigger, it just makes your mushroom look a little different. Your style, how you wanna make it look, because once you've gotten all of those done, you're done. We just gotta flip it from the back to the front to really appreciate your work. There you go. Looking at the front, you can see how it looks like a mushroom. And by coloring it in this fashion, you put uh, some red on it with some white circles or any color you choose, it doesn't matter. It already looks like a mushroom. Uh, what I like to do on the back side is I like to uh, put a piece of tape or you could glue these two points here, help lay them flat. Um, and then you have some options. You can uh, give it as a gift. You can put a stick here Maybe if you have like a larger toothpick or something of that nature and you can stick it in a flower pot. So you got that right there next to your flowers. Just make sure when you water your plants, you don't get this wet because it won't look so good. But um, that is how you fold from a piece of paper a mushroom that you can color and decorate as you see fit. So happy folding and have a good day.